This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, April 10th. I'm Michael Groff. Periods of high clouds around the region this week, but otherwise we'll just see a warming trend. Highs getting up to about 90 or so as we go through the week. And then by this weekend, maybe some cooler weather to talk about. Quite a bit of forecast uncertainty, though, so we'll talk about it as we look outside this morning here at 7.30 a.m. Mostly clear skies in the valley right now. 61 degrees to start the day at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 28, humidity 29 percent. The winds are calm. The barometer is rising. Temperatures across the area this morning. 40s in the cool spots away from the city, but most of us are in the 50s to low 60s. Some clouds in northwest Arizona, just high clouds, though. Watch warning map is extremely quiet. A few winter weather advisories, parts of eastern Montana, South Dakota, northwest Wisconsin, and some red flag warnings in sections of Kentucky and South Florida. Elevated fire danger there. On the convective outlook, a slight risk of severe storms in a couple of locations. First, from around San Antonio, Austin, up to Dallas, Fort Worth, and Texarkana. A secondary slight risk for the Chicago area to Fort Wayne and Muskegon, Michigan with a marginal risk to include places like Houston, Galveston, Little Rock, St. Louis, and Indianapolis. Let's get into the details of our weather, see what's going on around here. We'll look at the models. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. A mainly zonal flow, temps near normal, low and mid-80s, the sky partly cloudy. Tonight we're partly cloudy and mild, lows in the 50s and low 60s, and tomorrow some high clouds, another trough. And wave energy moves on to the west coast, but will stay well to the north of Arizona. Won't hamper our temperatures either. Highs getting into the mid and upper 80s. On Wednesday, we should be close to 90 degrees. High pressure in control here in the southwest. Any Pacific energy will stay well to the north of Arizona. Same for Thursday. You know, the surface low over Utah, but that's going to be just a dry system. There's no moisture this far south. Highs should remain in the upper 80s to about 90 Really the same on Friday, 85 to 90, with periods of high clouds from time to time. But overall, I would say the sky would just be partly cloudy. Some wind picking up in Southern California as a trough develops off the West Coast. Then this is Saturday. We're still looking mainly dry, with partly cloudy skies and high temperatures, 85 to 90. Really the same on Sunday, although we do note that another trough is developing. This one looks like it may be coming a little bit further south, but here's where the forecast uncertainty really comes in. The GFS has been consistently showing pretty anomalous troughing off the West Coast for several days now. And this is not supported by any of the other global models and not really supported by the ensembles. So I would say the GFS is a bit of an outlier right now. But if this does verify some wind in Southern California, temperatures held down a bit here, we'd fall back toward the low 80s. Then this is a week from today, Monday, April 17th. And if this is right, and I would tell you again, this is an outlying solution. Mean troughing off the West Coast, temperatures held in check. We'd be in the upper 70s to low 80s. I think we will be warmer than that. Here's Tuesday, the 18th, a mainly zonal flow. We'd have high clouds. And Pacific energy moving north of Arizona and temperatures below normal. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday, April 19th. And again, that looks like troughing off the Pacific Northwest coast uh, with negative height anomalies to our west. We could see some high clouds and temperatures would still be about or below normal, 80 to 85 with partly cloudy skies. Probably no rain, even if this outlying solution verifies, which I would suspect is not likely. Looking at temperatures off the GFS ensemble through the period will be warmer this week and then temperatures staying about normal or maybe a tick or two above normal through the rest of the forecast period going into late April. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for this morning. Our next video back here tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. As always, really do appreciate it. Have a great Monday.